we are um, pulling out of Port Toulouse this morning. It rained all night and been raining most of the morning. It seems like every time we um, seems like every time we break camp. Break camp nowadays, it seems like it's raining. It can be a pretty week all week and as soon as we say we need to move somewhere else, it starts to rain. But, but where we're going is gonna be bright and sunny. Where we're going we're Pensacola Beach. I'm excited. Sand, surf, sun. Hopefully do some kayaking in the in the bay or the gulf down there. We're going down and we're gonna meet a couple friends of ours, Gerald and Rosemary and spend a few days and then we're gonna break camp there and go to Milton, Florida. And you might ask, why go to Milton? Well, because it's close to Pensacola and we couldn't stay <laughs> at Pensacola Beach um, RV, RV Resort as long as we wanted to. They're kicking us out after three days. So they're kicking us out and uh, we did go down close to Milton not too long ago to Blackwater River uh, State Park. And they do have some good hiking and kayaking there, so we may do that. We're excited about going to Milton because um, Cecilia's daughter, my stepdaughter, and her husband and our grandbaby are going to be coming down Friday if the weather holds and uh, come down and spend a couple nights with us and go Take to the beach. To the beach. Get to go to the beach um, with the grandbaby. So we've got about a three hour drive ahead of us, and we're looking forward to being there. Uh, Gibbs is in the back seat. You can see him. He loves to ride. Every time he thinks we're going to get in the truck, he has to go with us, or he thinks he's got to go with us. So his again, middle name is Go. His middle name is Go. Gibbs like, Go Harris. Uh, Cecilia's mother used to call her Cecilia Go Go Brookins, I believe, because she always had to be on the go. Oh, Cecilia Go Brookins. Cecilia Go Brookins. That's what my mom used to call me. So we're on the road again. Uh, it reminds me of the Willie Nelson song, um, On the Road not, Again. No, <laughs> we won't go there. No, we're not so. going there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We came into Pensacola yesterday. A little stormy yesterday. At least early yesterday afternoon. We're here at uh, Pensacola Beach RV Resort. And while I was here, I thought I'd take a few minutes to walk around the resort and show you what all's here. So, full hookup site right here on the bay in Pensacola. Have approximately 70 some odd sites, back end sites, full end sites. Have a heated pool, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. Bathrooms are clean. Nice. And we'll take a look at those in a little bit also. They have their own little private beach with a tiki bar on it so you can walk, have your refreshments, or hang out on their private beach. The dog, your dog is welcome on the beach uh, as long as they're on a leash. They have a dog run. On, uh, both sides of the resort, so you can let your dogs run a little bit while you're here, off leash. I'd say like a lot of the RV, RV resorts, uh, the lots are a little tight. Basically, depending on which one you get, we happen to get one in the corner, which is uh, extremely hard to back into. But we did the 42 foot fifth wheel that we did get in. We do have a uh, small playground here for the kids. You see, we are right in the middle of a lot of things, so you can walk to the public beach, you can walk to a lot of restaurants and shopping. Very convenient. We do take some discounts. Uh, we actually got in on the Good Sam discount. Saved about 10 or $11 a night. Here's one of the dog walks over here. Take a walk around on the beach. Go by the 
sneaky tiki out here. Again, there was a storm yesterday. Looked like it blew around some of the cushions and things when we came out yesterday evening and the rain had quit. And this is their private beach access here. Uh, I call it more of a sandy area next to the bay more than a, a true beach but it is nice to have you can come out and lay out you can get in the water here they've got some steps going through the rocks you can get down into the water be nice to come out and be able to bring your pets sit around with your friends hang out enjoy a cocktail if you want to Yesterday we were able to see a few stingrays swimming under the pier. Let's see if they have any out here today or this morning. Oh, there's a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a stingray out there a little ways away on the top of the water. You can see the fins just sticking up. Maybe it'll come this way. Couple of them actually. Don't know how well you can see that. A little bit of glare on the water. So we'll see how well we can see those when we get around to editing this. Taking a look. Little playground at the beach for the kids. And they do have some portable restrooms over there by the beach also. So if you're down here, you don't have to go back to your camper or to the restrooms in the office area by the pool. I do have community grills underneath the office area, over here close to the pool that you can use. And then that's uh, the problem I had coming in yesterday. You can see the road curves around right here. Going back to the entrance. And then I had to make that turn and cut in here. to the road out here. Again, Pensacola seems to be a very pet friendly area. A lot of the restaurants will allow your pets to come in. Some even have a menu for your pets. 
see the laundry facility here. And the entrance is in the restroom. site like this you're coming to the beach you're not coming to hang out at your site very much and there comes Gerald this morning with his cup of coffee 